Good morning folks, Catherine here, your on the spot reporter. It's uh, Easter Monday, the uh, 13th of April 2020, here on uh, Madras Street, one of Christchurch's busiest roads. I believe it's a second car. Uh, obviously it's a public holiday, but apart from that it's uh, obviously a lockdown. I'm out for my morning exercise walk, as permitted. And uh, something I noticed coming back from the supermarket the other day, was the demolition in progress of one of the main Polytech uh, old, older buildings. Now I uh, believe that this was called A Block and C Block was just to the south. We're looking just to the south, uh, towards the southeast. So <coughs> we get the cough out the way, as long as it's a non-COVID cough, we're happy with that. And I'll um, just bring you around. I'm sorry the sun is at the wrong angle, but uh, there's actually a bad weather front moving in from down south. And uh, supposed to get here later, so I'm actually surprised it's not here already. Um, so it should be here probably by later today. The wind's just getting up. And um, by tomorrow, or this might well be demolished <laughs> by the time there's an extra break in the weather. So, yeah. So we'll just, um, yeah, I believe this was the A block um, of the, the, the original Polytech building. Christchurch Technical High School originally or something, but um, of course it's been known as the Christchurch Polytech for many years. It became the CPIT, Christchurch Polytech Institute of Technology. And then a couple of years ago, when they swallowed up Ayaraki Polytech, they renamed themselves ARA, which uh, to me was a I mean, it cost them four and a half million dollars in rebadging and that. I think they should have just renamed themselves the Canterbury Polytech Institute of Technology. Uh, Ayuraki was based in Timaru, but it had branches throughout uh, South Canterbury and uh, a small campus up here in Christchurch. Looks like a family out for a bike ride. So, yeah, there we go. It's a demolition. We'll just turn around. That's obviously the newer building. Uh, I can't remember what letter code that one has. I have a funny feeling it was to do with arts. I did attend something in there. Uh, on the end, known as G Block, it's now called Strategy or something, that was the Grovesner Hotel. Now, I don't know if I see something about Polytech students compared to university students, but whereas the university have their own licensed pub on the premises, and after it got, you know, damaged and demolished in the earthquake, they had that rebuilt, but the two pubs closest to the Polytech, well, both of them had gone bust years ago and were sitting empty and derelict, even before the 2010 earthquake, let alone 2011 earthquake. So G Block, as it was, had been known back in the early days, in the 70s, um, the Grovesner Hotel and uh, up the end up past the end of the Polytech up on the uh, St. Asif Street corner so if you went up there to the next uh, probably enter onto the road a little bit there was zero traffic zero traffic, none, none even queued at the lights at the traffic lights up there is St. Asif Street and uh, uh, just to the left hand corner of that is uh, was an old hotel with a big Australian style veranda on it actually. Um, I think it was branded as Tui, but, uh, but anyway, that, uh, um, that, that, had, that had long since ceased trading and that was obviously German from the earthquakes and later on demolished. I think a little deli, dairy sort of takeaway shop, food shop operates here now. Just out uh, of curiosity, just while we're here, and I do apologise for the wind noise. Here's our countdown, this is the corner of Morehouse and Madras, Morehouse Avenue and Madras Street. Um, and this one closed to the public just a few days ago, so it's still open, but it's open for the, um, uh, uh, for the phone orders that you phone and then they have someone come out in a wee truck and deliver it. Uh, so because of the shutdown, they've tried to, there have been two, um, uh, more demand than they can cope with for these uh, delivery services from the supermarkets. And they've tried to uh, make extra slots available for old people who shouldn't be leaving their home, and for disabled people and things like that. So in one or two areas, I've designated some of the perhaps 
smaller trade supermarkets and, and this is one of them. I did not sure if the chemist is still open. The chemists are permitted to be open. They don't have to be, but they are permitted to be open during the um, during the lockdown. Uh, the Burger King at the end is obviously closed. They were closed first thing. Um, but yeah, so the countdown's open for um, but not for the public, just for their uh, their, their own uh, delivery service, their online order and delivery service. So yeah, uh, Auckland has got several designated ones shut down uh, just the, to uh, dedicate for the delivery service. So. Um, I, I guess there's enough other countdowns and things around. Of course, only one block further along, about another 400 metres further on, is a pack and save. And it's always been a bigger uh, store than the countdown. Whether it does double the business or ten times the business, I don't know. I know that sometimes I drive past and the, the car park at the pack and save is full and the car park here is nearly empty. But I think uh, they do a few lunches and that when the uh, school year is in, um, when the academic year is in. But yeah, there we go. So end of an era. I believe that is A block. And um, of the... Now I will actually... Look at that. Two cars on the road at the same time and a bus. Mate, you heard it here first. Two cars and a bus on one of New Zealand's... Uh, in Christchurch's busiest roads. So I've just found a concrete uh, uh, thing to stand on. So we're going to try to... And I do apologise, I'm just using the equipment that's available. We're going to try to look inside there and see if we can get a bit more detail. I realise I'm only handheld at the moment. And the angle of the sun is 100% wrong, but it is what it is. And uh, by the time we come back... By the time we come back, that might all be demolished. Alright folks, that's all for now. Cheerio.